Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We're jumping back into Colony Survival. This is a major new update that just dropped, which pretty much changes up the game completely. All right, threat levels alone is one thing I do like, where we can build up our colony. We don't have to worry about these zombies coming in to attack us right away. We can kind of set ourselves up. And when we, once we start doing more science and more tech tree, it starts unlocking and start going threat level starts going up higher and higher as we're building. I think also the colonists is the amount, but they're very minute compared to where it was before. So this is going to be super excited. Uh, the largest update they were mentioning that they actually overhauled the game. The tech tree has been rebuilt from scratch. Terrain generation has been uh, drastically enhanced and changed. So there's a lot of cool stuff. So we'll be able to start a new save game. Of course, we have no choice because, well, first of all, it's been a while, but knowing that it's, it's brand spanking new. So you really need to jump in with a brand new game on this one this is uh new weapons new jobs and new monsters new buildings and blocks and new science uh there's also grenade launchers steel gliders and a whole bunch of other goodies anyways the list is so extensive you need to go to steam to check it all out i don't want to sign in here and talk about it all the way through that but those are the really the the core that i know that really will change the game forever so if you guys are girls like this please take time hit like button if you're brand new please want to subscribe let's jump into a brand new world all right we're gonna give this seed a chance it's two seven five seven four eight eight we're gonna try that out and uh, we're gonna try to find ourselves a best possible piece of land we can get We'll work with that, and of course, you can do uh, add bots. We'll look at that later on. I think it adds textures and stuff. You can play uh, co-op or solo. We're going to be running it solo this one. All right, so here it starts off. It says finding a good spot in the first colony, having water and flat uh, farming. Okay, nearby is recommended. This, okay, this is important. I uh, want to put a banner down. If I'm not mistaken, what I read is like 30 blocks around. Uh, we can go pretty darn big in the area. We can also have farm outside the area too if we want to. They will come back in. It looks like they built themselves a moat here too. We'll have to get ourselves beds and also these tinker tables, just a crafting tables to get farming going for berries early on, of course. Uh, that's one meal per day per colonist, so it's going to be taking quite a bit. There's also mining down below. We can look for different layers, and I think there's different ores like copper, iron, and I don't know what the other one is. Uh, maybe clay, I think it is. And unlocking some science will add threats to this. This will show top right corner, uh, which is what I like to see when you're unlocking science. It'll be more threats than it is for recruiting new colonists, which I think used to be the contrary and stuff. I uh, want to build walls and stuff and moats. We can wait a little bit until the threat levels get up to that level. We'll see how it goes. We haven't built anything yet. The uh, rest of this, we're going to burn some daylight here and call any points survival. You guys can pause that up. Uh, we'll kind of take a look at it afterwards, I think. Uh, right now, i got to find myself a nice piece of flat land that I don't have to carve out through a mountain. That's, that's my goal. Uh, this is not bad. It's still a lot of work. The toughest part is find that piece of land that you want to build in. I don't know if my guy can swim. I think he can. See, the right over there is nice, but I have to carve all the way through that. Ugh. Oh, God. It's always the toughest part. I don't feel like spending six hours terraforming things because it can be very, very arduous, especially if you get near a mountain and stuff. Uh, it can get really bad, so you want to avoid that. You can cut down your trees if you want to, like that. No mistake, and go in the middle. Boom. I love Minecraft, I guess. And pow, it goes bye bye. I was going to take a look up top here. There's different biomes too. Looks like there's uh, definitely some snow up there. So I'm not sure if we get other kind of resources. Right on top of there. Looks pretty good. <laughs> a little cold, though. I don't think our colonists would survive too long. I'm not sure if the cold or stuff in that would uh, affect them, but. I'm not going to go and take a risk and start off with the most difficult. We're just going to get some high ground here and double check to see if we can find absolutely anything. Right now, I have my torch set on me, by the way. If you're wondering, uh, that's a torch. So if it pops on like that, this is the other things we have to place down, which is one and two. This is not bad here, but again, terraforming, terraforming, terraforming. Oh, well, that's... If it gets better when we go down there, I might might like this area here but boy it looks like we might have to cut down a lot of areas here yeah there's a lot of blocks to trim down but right here actually not so bad if i center myself in here but i will have to cut down what's behind me so i wonder how far let's just open this up here does it show me see i don't see the outline like they're mentioning i don't know I guess we'll just have to terraform some. I have no choice. I'm going to build in the front of this. 
and then terraform the back of this if I want to. Let's just, I just don't want to do any water terraforming. So let's see if we can set this out here and start colony and create colony. All right, let's just see it here. It looks like it is highlighted. I see a little area. It looks different. Look. Whew. We're how far down are we going here? We're going to the water. Damn it. That's the last thing I wanted. Can I move that? By the way, can this be removed? Delete colony. Deleting the last batter colony will remove all NPCs and make the colony unstable to confirm that delete. Okay. Can I? Yeah, it's fine. There's no one here. Okay, so that's gone. It's fine. I don't care if it's unstable or not. I don't want to go into the water. I'd rather terraform the back of this than I do that. I don't want to be in a mountain, but that's not just like a little hill. It's not so bad. Start colony. Create. Okay, so let's go and see how good we are now. Looks like we we have an area that's pretty decent. We can put down, if I chop this down here, I can grab some of these trees, put some markers up, maybe. Probably our best thing. Not get confused with that marker. I think I just took some land from me. There we go. We're going to put down some of these blocks. Now, this is a little bit tricky. It's got to find the right block. There we go. And right click. So we could see what this is, right? So this is good, right? I think I got that right. And maybe add a torch to that because I think that's what I was doing last time. Just so I know where walls are. And there we go. All right, let's go back and follow this. So it gets a little dark just to sort of the shadow of the area we're going to be building in. Now, I haven't found any berries or anything. I think we have to look for berries. A tie bit. So we're a little bit off. Not, not horribly. A little bit off this area. I, I think I want to add more grass to this, but it's okay for now. And how far are we? Right there, right? That's the edge of it. It is. So for now, we're just going to put this here. I think I have to make sure there's one underneath it, right? Yeah. Am I out of wood? No, okay. Like that. Oh, yeah, and the torch here, too. It's not going to do anything for now. It won't produce any kind of, like, zombros or stuff or issues. It looks like we're going to night, which is going to suck because I'm going to have a hard time seeing this outline. And this one goes far back into the mountain, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to be terraforming the living crap out of. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this here temporarily and put a torch on top. And that way I can kind of build up across. Now, can I still see us at night? I can lightly see it until the sun disappears, which it's about to do. So you know what? I'll terraform this area here as much as I possibly can off camera. And then we're going to come back in the morning where we can see what the hell we're doing. Okay, so I'm like terraforming like crazy. Look at all the blocks we picked up so far. I mean, it, nightfall wasn't that long either. Uh, we're not going to worry about all this right now because what I'm going to end up doing is working on some ca off camera. Again, if you guys want to see more of this, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Get a comment feels. All that wonderful stuff is always very much appreciative. Love to hear your feedback on this. You jump in to play this game again uh, if you haven't already. I did cover it a while back, like I mentioned, when it first came out. And I uh, didn't cover it again. And I was just I like this update a lot. I think it's got me back into it. So hopefully you guys want to see a series of this. I, I definitely think it's time for us to come back and visit this. So that'd be awesome. Boom, boom. Get rid of where I need some wood anyways for I think the tinker stuff. That is fantastic. There is a lot of room for us to build here. I just got to check out to see where the other part goes. So when I'm off camera, I can actually do this uh, part. So we're just going to open this up. It gets a little dark. Apologize in advance. We've got no choice. And it's going to go across here. Now it ends right there with the shadow, right? That's a perfect. So we're going to put this up here. And we're going to do a little torch. Again, I'll lower it afterwards or keep it up. I'm not sure how we're going to do it, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, but that's a corner there too. And you can see this is the wall that's going through it. So we can delete all these wonderful trees if we want to, if they're in our way. And if you don't want the leaves, I'm not sure if there's any value for leaves at all. I, I'll be honest with you. I, just, I know the wood's important. I've not seen any berries in this area which is kind of odd because i expected uh some be able to do some berry plants but i think we need to go investigate that and then i don't want to get lost uh doing so because unfortunately uh we're pretty far away from our base and i'll get lost and i'm just <laughs> might have a hard time finding it. there's no way to put a marker down i think uh on here i don't see an area that's telling me where the hell i'm actually located uh so that is something so if we can find ourselves some berries and stuff oh my god i think i found the best area ever to build what the frig what did i Oh, God, I just found this around the corner, literally, and I found some berries here, too, which is good, because we're going to need those. Oh, my God, one second. What did I just do? Uh, inventory is full. Okay, I need to discard some stuff here. I'm going to get rid of some of those leaves, I think. I'll open this up here, and... No, nope, not this one. 
I just did throw these out. Garbage. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, I want these berry seeds uh, big time. on the seeds, whatever we can. So we'll probably pick these up. Oh, no, I don't want the torch gone. Give me back my torch. I want that. Okay, so this is what... I have seeds already. What do I have seeds for? Saplings. All right, we need those for the trees too. Okay. So if I found one berry, I must be able to find at least more than one in this area. Hopefully, if not, we'll be very slow at making food as we're going through this. But I think we're going to come back here instead. Uh, this is a much better location and it's close to some berries. Which I'm not sure if they grow back or not, but hopefully they do. I saw another one over here. And the one over there, that's good. All right, so I have somewhere to go. So we're going to go around the corner, come back here and build it. I wish I could just delete it. I don't know if I could, let me do it. New outpost, new start new colony. Okay, so that's just the new colony and outpost we need to do. All right, well, uh, this is super flat right here, dude. It's very little terraforming. And I think I like this one. And it's near water. A threat level is still zero. No kidding. I've not done very much else here. We're day one, 1,500 hours on the top left. You can see it, uh, which is great. So let me just go and find where we were at. I'm going to delete that. And it sucks because, you know what? We, we had to already terraform to tie a bit. But we want to do, right? All right, I'm going to spend a little time here doing some more of the work. It's a little dim. I'm sorry. just want to show you guys where we're at right now. Totally going to be uh, revamping this whole area here. Uh, it's not much, though, to do, thankfully enough, unlike the other place, so it's really nice. Uh, it goes up to there, I think, right? Let's just actually take this off for a second. Let's go open up a little bit so I can see exactly where the outline finishes, and it's right there. Perfect. So I'm going to do like I did the other place. Uh, there's not, you know, you guys get it there. Put the put block down, bank, bank, bank. And this way I know exactly where I cut through and I could cut a lot better. But look at this. A lot less land I have to cut through. I have a couple of fillers I could do right here. And we also have berries too, which is really nice. They're all over the place here. And it seemed to be coming back too because I think I grabbed all of them. And now we're seeing like a, a whole resurgence of these things. So it's really, really nice. And I'll delete some of these and of course place down. Oh my God, these things come down. So used to digging that it goes down so much quicker. So when you place them, it's like, ooh. Uh, but we'll have to dig and make ourselves tunnels and other things, but we're gonna need to fill up a little bit and have a, at least an outline of our land. We're gonna build up walls and such in the future. So I'm gonna want this to be as perfect as possible. So let me work on this off uh, camera. We'll be back on day three, I guess. Uh, getting ourselves ready. Thank you if you want to eat or anything. I did find myself a couple more berry bushes. Uh, so I placed them in here, by the way. Press I and I place them inside of here. We have a whole bunch of berry seeds and such. And pretty much just shift and right click. We'll take off one at a time if you want to. I got like a crap load of this shit. <laughs> Which I think we're going to end up doing a lot of this right now. Okay, so if you're wondering what I was doing for the whole night. Um, you guys can see it. It, it looks Pretty much wide open. I'd probably the only thing left is to do that side over there. Uh, I'll probably do it afterwards. I'll start working a little bit on the farming and stuff, which I'm going to put it back in my base anyways. I guess anywhere it could be the back. And that's where we're going to be end up going. So that's really nice. I'm just going to double check to see if I got that correct. And yes, there we go. The line seems to be going out there perfectly. And the only thing left for us to do pretty much is a small amount, a very small amount of terraforming, which is right here. I got a lot of these wonderful uh, grass things. I'm actually, I'll do it now. Screw it. Get over with. But these grass things are great because I'm going to want to redo the base too. Uh, if we continue the series, like I said, I want to really play as much as possible can of this and uh, get us all pretty far in if we can with this. A lot of things to do. Uh, but I was thinking about just like, I have to go back through here and I'll have to replace each and every one of these. So I'll have to dig out a whole portion of it and get ourselves going and make it look a little nicer. It's going to take a lot longer than I thought. I'm going to have to terraform the crap out of that. So we probably end up doing our gardens over here. I'll worry about that afterwards. I'll put them in this side and we'll start working on it. I've worked all night just to get that done. Plus I threw out all those blocks and stuff, right? When I did this, I threw out a whole bunch of grass blocks, which ended up being pretty stupid, I guess. I'm not sure. We have a very limited amount of storage. So I don't know if that's a you know a problem or not, but we'll have to deal with it. All right, we have to uh, get open uh, some stuff here. And I believe it's in this one, in command pressing one, we can do some berry farmers. Uh, quick and easy tool, uh, food that starts. Okay, let's start with this. That's what they're telling us. So I don't know, I don't like being too close to my walls. I like to have a little bit of uh, space between both, uh, but we're gonna try and, uh, ooh, how we do this here? Right click, okay. Now I remember them being an issue when I first built these. I think this is too big. I think they skip one each last I remember. 
The only way to find out is actually building one because I don't remember exactly how that works and what waste of land am I going to get from this. I'm thinking maybe about like that for the cross, I guess. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go like this. Eight by something right there. Eight by four, I think it is, right? Four, yeah. Eight by four. We'll do a couple of these. Now, the important part is that you put yourselves a crate in between. But we could do with berry farms, actually keep them a lot closer together and put the crates in between where the actual berries are. I think that's what we did last time, too. And it worked out pretty good. Can I delete this? Uh, oh, okay. How do you remove this? Remove area. Okay, there we go. That's how you do it, game match. So we'll do another 8x4 here. Right click. We're going to stick it close together. I think every piece of land is going to matter for us. Oh, uh, damn. Right click. Okay. There we go. I think it's 8x4. And the only way of knowing that for real is by asking ourselves to have a couple of guys. Now, the only problem is I, I do have some beds, actually. Oh, that's what I say. I don't have beds, but I do have beds. So we'll put those over here. We're going to start placing down some beds just randomly. And after that, we'll have to, of course, make ourselves a building and stuff. We should make our life a lot easier. So maybe I'll keep the, some beds close to the berry farmers. Like so. You know what? I'll probably end up doing it right here. And after that, I'll move them. Yeah. So one, two, three. I, I, do I have to leave a space? I think I remember having a problem with that, right? Okay. And then I can rotate this. Yes, R, like that. That's perfect for me. All right, so we have like eight beds right now. That's pretty good because I haven't even started this up. So, oops, I don't need this tool. Uh, we're going to go up to our our flag, I think. Is that it? I don't remember. No, let's delete it. And how do we get more people to show up here? I should have probably read that part. Science, colony, population, colony. There you go, recruit all. That's what it is. All right, recruit to fill beds. No, I just want to recruit all for jobs right now. So let's get those people in. They eat right off the bat, which is what sucks. But they should be able to build the uh, barriers that I have here. But the thing is, I need to make sure I have a crate down. Then I had crates are cool. Then I have to make some tinker guys. All right. And I think once they place the berries down, which were in a crate. Oh, do I have a crate anywhere? Or they just pick up randomly. That's fantastic. Yeah, you see they waste the space, don't they? Okay, can you guys share one of these? I think you could share a box, right? I believe they can share the box. And then they harvest these things up constantly. So we're going to need a couple more of these uh, done. So let's get that completed. I can go back there. That's fantastic. Thank you. I, I was getting a little scared. I wasn't able to go back to the ability to see the menu there where they explain a little more. All right. Yeah. Berry farmer. Yeah. Berry farmer. Thank you. So I'm wasting a space. So should I do by three? Is that good enough? I don't know. One second. I think I'm going to screw up here. One second. Boom. By three. Okay. Let's see if he does a better job. Oh, I don't even need to go over there. There. God darn it. Uh, let's actually get two more people. Like I said, I mean, we're just rocking this to see how this works, right? So it's, it, it is what it is. Okay. Um, yeah, I can also put torch on top of here so they can see what the hell they're doing well we can see what the hell is going on there and we have beds bump 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 i'm going to need to go back into my menu here and go back to colony here and recruit for all jobs all right so we should have two more of those we're gonna need a forester too we're also gonna need the tinkers and all that uh, how do i make that log taiga needed and stone rubble okay so we're gonna need some stone rubble to make that ticker table right Right, I guess I got to dig downwards and get that going. Yeah, less less waste, less waste. That's good, dudes. Less waste. Okay, well, anyway, I have two of them that are a little bit off, 
Uh, the rest of them are pretty much okay. It leaves a little space between both these. Nothing I could do about it. Uh, but at least I learned a little less. And maybe later on, we'll just kind of change that up as we go through it. Uh, right now, i got four people working on food, which is great. I'm going to need a bunch of them to work here, too. They're not going to do it tonight, but they'll get on to it. I'll try and make myself... I'm going to try and make myself... No, I don't want to bury farmers. Thank you very much. I want to go and get myself a forester. All right, it's going to get much bigger. This one, of course, because we're putting trees and stuff. I should just do seven, but I'm going to have to test it out with one. Is that as large as it gets? Yeah, it's 12 by 8. All right, well, do it. I don't even have that many tree saplings, so... Yeah, just make that happen. And we have to put a crate somewhere into here. I guess we'll wait to see in the morning for that. Right now, I have to go and chop down more trees for us to be able to do more work right now. So this is kind of like the thing. I guess I can just place all those beds and get them out of my... Uh, what if I need them afterwards? Let's just place them back in here for now. We'll leave uh, one crate in there. Uh, we'll keep some dirt in case we need that. I don't know if we do. And wood will come right back to it. We're going to need, obviously, a little more. We can make torches. Okay. Oh, I just made a whole bunch. All right. Well, that's cool. Pretty darn simple to make. All right. Let's go back out there. I'll find uh, as many trees I can knock down, which is tons on this side. All right. I was just picking up trees here and stuff. I'm actually going to delete some of this foliage crap there. Got to go with that. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We're going to keep, uh, of course, some of the saplings. We're going to need those. I'm actually here for rocks. I just dug through the side of a mountain. Just got to pick up some of these so I can make my tinker stuff. I'm going to need like three or four benches. Usually like to wrap them near one crate so they can be building as much as possible. We're going to need a lot of resources early on. So this is probably the easiest way. We can also have, well, we have to make a mine, but I haven't figured out where to place that yet. I've been so busy doing so many things. Uh, this is good if we could just pick up a bunch of stone here. I wonder if I can just craft this off the fly now. Yes. Now, was this here? It needs uh, log tank, temporal stone rubble. What's the difference between both of these? Tinker table, tinker's table. No difference, I think. All right. All right, we got four of them. All right, so we got 55, I think, or 58. There we go, of the stuff. We're good. Uh, saplings, I think, just come out randomly through this. I'm not sure when they show up. I think it was very random. I cut down way more trees than they were saying there. That is for sure. So, I don't know. Uh, did we get one there? I think so. I think some of the stuff is just dropping the ground, which is fine, or not even just disappearing. I want to see one show up here. Nope. It's okay. Like I said, very random. I guess they'll get more as they plant more. And yeah, these are smaller trees around the area. I tried to avoid like cutting down way too much of this stuff so it would be too barren. So I went out pretty far out there in that way. But I think I still kind of screwed up a little bit on that. But anyways, it's all good. It's all good. We have a colonist working. I forgot to uh, get the other ones uh, going, which is this. We need to fill jobs. I need the forester going as fast as they possibly can. Thank you. And I'll just drop off these in here. There we go. We have 11 of those. And I guess we could show, throw a stockpile of crabs here, consumables that they need for later on. So all the stuff I'm putting in here, and I'm mistaken, is going into the ability for them to build this stuff, which is great. Now I just need to see where the hell he's going to plant this stuff. I think I might have wasted more space again. Okay, well, we're going to put a crate here. And he'll be able to put all his wood down in there. I think we might need another one of those guys here. Because uh, the trees are going to go pretty quick. We've got 118 of them. Luckily enough, because I just chopped down a crap load of trees. Again, it doesn't take very long, I know. Uh, but just to say we've done it properly. All right, so what I, I could have done what? Well, that's a complete waste on this side. Could I not? Oh, uh, modify that so what do i need like obviously it needs a little bit of space so i need one two three four five so five is max that we need for this so let's go forester five okay and then uh, we could get ourselves another job here i think let's just get that colony going and recruit to fill all jobs perfect how many people have working right now one two three four Five and six. They all wear different shirts. That's okay. We have eight beds. We're in good shape. All right. I will need to build downwards, but I need to build the tinker guys now. All right. We're going to place a couple more beds. Oh, it's true. I need to leave a space. 
bed and rotate the bed there. Perfect. Maybe I'll go on this side actually. Bed. All right. This is where they sleep in the stars. They go and see the stars all night long. It'd be beautiful. All right. They're planting up their trees. I think this was a little more efficient. Does it? No, it's not. It gave me shit nothing. Okay, you you suck. All right, so I guess I have no choice but to make it that size. Now, can I delete this crap? I got my sapling back. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to remove this uh, right here and delete this area. Remove area. Yeah, you got no job. You're, you're, you're jobless. Okay, um, sorry, dude. First day of the job, he gets fired. Not because of him, because I made it. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, and... Why is this guy, Barry guy, bringing up to here? That's weird. All right, I guess let's build another big one. I, I just proven that doesn't work, so, okay. Oh, god darn it. Every single time, man. Eh? I always go left click like it's supposed to, but. Okay, there we go. You got a job, dude. Fill that job. Now, why is Barry boy walking all the way over here? He can't reach that crate? I mean, yeah, he should be okay. He should be just fine. All right, we need to do a tinker, boys. And I'll need to make some of those tinkers here, I think, for now, temporarily. Maybe we'll put them in back of the bed. And we can always move these afterwards. So, yeah, let's get those benches going. I just craft those in my inventory. We need those for them to start crafting. Okay, so. Tinker beds. Uh, <laughs> tinker beds. Tinker bed. So I'm going to want to put one here. No. Let me take that back. Rotate this. I'm going to want something like this. And then rotate here. I think it's for the space. We used to put a crate in the middle. As long as it can just turn around and nail at the crate. We had an easy way of doing this. This one's too far. Yeah, and then I take one crate, which I have any more left? I do not. Ew. And I can't craft those. I cannot. Oh, God darn it. Okay. I might screw myself or someone's going to lose a crate here. Can you guys share with the other berry people? I would appreciate it. Please. Oh, I don't want to... Give me that back. I'm going to take this back for you guys. Just for a time, but we need to get the Tinker Boys working. We'll get another crate for y'all in a second. Okay, and then we're going to put Torch up here. And then we can do this in the morning. And then have... Recruit for all jobs. Probably could have waited for the morning so they don't eat up our food stuff. But All right, so they should work... They should have enough room as long as they have one space here. Uh, they should all come back here and start working. So these guys are going to do ticker and stuff. I'm not going to have any room, but we're going to start plowing our way down to the bottom of this and building yourself a cave or something. So I should probably do is make one down here somewhere. I don't know if I should have it inside. I usually have it on the outside of the base, but I'm going to build one here, I think, and we'll worry about it afterwards. Don't forget, we can always fill us up, right? So. Okay. I'll start off with the first block. Then we'll expand back out here. But you guys get the gist of this. We've done this before on Sunday's Days to Die many other times. This is going to be a little bit longer than Sunday's Days to Die version of it. We're going to find some new stuff. And I think every one of them has it. By the way, everything. So it's just a matter of just getting to the right level. And there's tons of ores. Now, the good thing between us harvesting up these ores versus them, it's infinite for them to harvest up the same ore. For us, if we just dig it up, it's automatically gone. All right, so it looks like I hit a first level of stuff here. So we might want to start digging to the right a tiny bit and see how much we have. Because you see, this one has really something here. I just want to find a level I can build it. Yeah, there we go. Something else here. It might be iron. I'm not sure. 
if we get a couple of those, we can have those guys work here. And we can go deeper afterwards. Yes. Perfect. All right. Because I'm going to go three wide, so I kind of needed uh, something better. And that takes a while. What is that, anyways, by the way? I'm running out of room on my stuff here, so let's get rid of the grass and the dirt because we can have tons of dirt. What is this? Copper. Okay. I don't know what that is yet. Hopefully, we'll get another one so I can test it out. Oh, crap. I hate when I do that. We can put that here. I guess we could put a torch down here, too. It'd be kind of nice. So let me dig my way back up here. Okay, either you can put those little uh, things here. You can put these wall torches. I'll just mess around with both of them here. Wall torches. Obviously, you could get a little more light than you would from that. And we can craft those up pretty darn easily, too. So it's really nice. We're going to have to start working on getting the mining done very shortly. We did find at least the ores. Uh, that we needed. I'm just going to clear out a little bit of the area. Turn out to be daylight. So I want to see what's going on upstairs so uh, we can manage that a little better. Let's make ourselves some space here. I don't think I'm going to pick up these blocks. Not all of them, at least. Oh, shit. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I see we won't pick up these ones. That's fine. It's not a big deal. In the future, we're going to be going out this far down, so... It's not going to happen right away because i got to dig back down there, but I prefer to do it at nighttime, not waste my time in daytime. Uh, we can, of course, grab all our wonderful stuff we have here and put it inside of our stockpiles. So that goes somewhere. Copper, and we even have some saplings and stuff. Hopefully, they'll be able to do it. Looks like the trees are growing on this side, which is nice. we got some berries going. How are we doing on food versus that? I didn't check to see. 24 we're gonna need way more berries way more i wish these guys would all work uh because each one of these people cost one and i'm not sure how much i'm getting for each one of these berry things but uh, definitely important we have the tinkers going i don't know do i have a tough fourth guy oh there he is so this is the important part too go ahead right click there you go so find out what the max you should have okay so five and these are what priorities okay should have 10 of these i should want do seven and make that a high priority because i'm gonna need some oh uh, these are slingshots eh? i'm not sure if it's we're the only ones that could use that or not they make four of those that's definitely a high priority now is the other one high priority yeah when it goes dark it's high priority nights Slinger guard crafting. Okay, these things we need to crafting towers and stuff. So they can do use slingers. That's good. So let's get make sure there's four of those. And night slinger guard. Crafting time, no tools, 25 seconds. Need sling. Okay. For daytime, I guess. So we'll get four of each of those. We're gonna need some tools. Those are mandatory. So I'm not sure. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to stay with the judgment call on these guys. Uh, tinker tables and stuff, too, is plenty in stock. Select group. Oh! So this is one table, two... Oh, I'm supposed to tell a difference, I guess, when I click on them. No, it doesn't say. Okay. Well, that should be interesting. We'll have to make more berry stuff. ASAP. All right, so right click. Oops, not Forester. I want. And we're going to go berries. And we're going to make another slide of berries across here, I think. We're going to be able to get weeds and stuff afterwards, but right now I kind of got to get this done. So I did it by three, right? One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, is this most efficient or not? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't mind redoing these if we need to. But is it the most efficient? I have no clue. Did they make some chests? They did. Wonderful. Now, they shouldn't be so pissed off. And I should be able to place... Uh, right where he's standing, a little shite. One's on this side. Yeah, so you need to move. Can I put it right on you? No, I don't think I can. Little shit. Okay. There we go. Thank you. We're going to put one there, and we're going to put a torch on top of that. Excellentes. And then once we hire up the rest of these guys, 
all jobs. And now I'm out of beds too, I bet you, right? So are they crafting up those beds too? I need those beds as priority too. Oops. And beds. Yeah, put that up on priority too. Make sure you have... I don't know. Seven beds at all time. That way you can just opt up if I need to. Oh, look, it tells you what they're building. You're building the tinker thing when I said not to. Crates, sling. They're, they're very efficient, though. Very efficient. That's all good. They're building everything we need to do. So these guys are putting on our stuff here. We're going to make their job a lot easier and brighter. With that and that. So we got tons of berry farmers. We got trees. I can go and cut down all I want. That's not a big problem. I can actually grab some of this and throw it into here so they don't run out. I don't know if they take from my stockpile down below or not, but it's good to do, double check and make sure, right? I think these guys are about to go to bed. Now, how are we doing on food now that we moved it up a bit? We're at 18 and getting a little scared about that. Getting a little worried that these guys are not producing enough. I mean, I try not to do too much so they can produce it. I remember last time it was like way too much. I couldn't catch up to uh, the food and stuff. So let's be careful. We are getting a bunch of people in here. And hopefully, uh, yeah, they'll get themselves going with this. These guys are doing saplings. Seems to be wasting a lot of time. They'll do nothing. Standing around. They could be doing other jobs. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are going to need miners too. All right. Now I'm down below here. Uh, just digging out a nice little cavern for them to kind of make their way in here. I'm probably going to add some beds down here. Sometimes it works. They sleep down here. But most of the time, they'll go up and get some food and end up sleeping upstairs. I've seen that before. We try to put some beds down below, but it doesn't always work. I don't think I need this much room, honestly. But uh, just try to find some space without any iron or whatever the hell it is. Sorry, the other thing I didn't pick up yet. I'm going to figure this out here. Let's just pick this up. What the hell is that? Oh, there it is. Clay, I wish you could touch it. What? What was that supposed to mean? All right, we'll put that down here for now temporarily. Uh, just going to try and keep... I have no idea what the hell that means, by the way. <laughs> Wish you could touch it. Okay. So I guess we're going to mine a little bit down going downwards, too. And I just want to keep myself in tune that this is going to be an area. We're going down a little bit below to get the other stuff. I'm not sure if there's more than one or not. But this will be a lot easier for us. To uh, get ourselves some money going. I think this is going to be super important anyways. We need to do some research. I'm just getting worried about the research until I get enough foods and stuff. Because now adding more people will cost. Uh, total meals is 21. It's not so bad. Hopefully the new berry guys are going to help out a lot. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's pretty good. I get the point. I'm going to go back down here. All right, we'll worry about this stuff right afterwards. Uh, again, some of the stuff on the side walls, don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, they can sit there and mine this stuff if we want to. I can actually make a room through there. I'm pretty stupid now with what I'm doing there. So I can make myself a room and get more miners so if I really need to. So it does look very nice, those little things, but we'll do fine. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, we can dig through the walls. I've actually made a hole in there. I think it's better to do it like this. Yeah, get more bang for a buck out of that thing. So, yeah, whatever it is, just, I don't think I could put back a regular wall. So, for now, or rocks. I don't think rocks is something, eh? No. So, there's, like, rubble. So, we'll come back and fix this up all nicely and stuff. I'll probably expand it back out now that I know there's more on that side. And we'll have some more fun trying to find out where we're going to go with this. And, again, we'll put some beds down and other things afterwards. But we need the mining stuff made. So I don't know if it's because I harvested up the clay, everything's going to open up now. Sometimes most of the stuff will just kind of pop open as we're going through it. Just want to double check to see what we got open here. It's got to go up top here. We got some lights going on. It's still nighttime. It should be morning, yeah. Everybody's up. Get your butts in gear. Okay. So right over here, too. They have all these things going on. They have the tools. Perfect. And I think it's in my inventory here where I need to go to science. This is where we're going to see a threat level go up. So, minor. We need to do that. 
and you need to require us this right now. Five stone. We got that. The threat level go up. Doesn't seem to have gone up. Interesting. The smelter itself, we need planks. Ten planks. Okay, and three, so we can do that. Cool. And merchant hub. I'm going to hold off for there. Mud bricks. Requires clay. 30 clay. We don't have that, that's for sure. And this one requires clay, too. So we're going to have to be a little bit... Oh, there's some harvesting there. I just saw that. Requires stone tools. Five. I don't have five stone tools? Really? I should have at least five. Let's bring up the ten. That way we keep some in there. Now everybody's working on stolen tools. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, dudes. I'm asking a lot from you. So if we get that, that unlocked, it requires stone tools. Come on, buddies. Are you guys almost done? Okay, that's another one in there. How come it's not showing up? Oh, he's got to put it inside the... Uh... I don't understand. Why am I not getting the tools? There we go. All right, took a little while. Completed. All right, well, that's good. Now we can actually harvest up some other things, too, across from here. Uh, maybe doing some uh, weeds and stuff. We can even do it outside of our wall if we want to. Uh, initially, I guess we could keep it inside the wall, keep ourselves all good. Again, there is no wall. I know. You guys are going to say that. There's no wall, Game Edge. I know. All right, let's just do the mining really quick. I want to get some guys down from there, and I'm going to need beds. So we can grab this and place that back in here. There's tons of stone. Can I not put more? Utilize all my stone. I'm not going to need any of this. There's some clay and some digging in the dirt. Little Peter Gabriel. Brand new Elmo too, by the way, if you guys don't know. <laughs> it's coming out. Should I build the beds on below or just bother it now? This is It's not that deep. We can worry about it afterwards. I need two more for down below. Right? So we're going to need to get those mine tools and stuff here. And I should have some inside. There they are. Minor jobs. So we need one to be doing this one. And I need one to be doing this one, I guess. Okay. And then we're going to hire for the colony. Okay, cool. And everybody's hired. We gotta watch out again. I don't want to overdo it. I need to put a crate down here, too. I'm just gonna give a little bit of room to dude. In case he's claustrophobic or something, but I don't know. It just seems like there's there's my guys, right? Oh wait, so they don't go back upstairs. Shit, 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 shit. I need this there. And we need to put a crate down. I don't know if that's good enough for you guys. Where are you going? I put the freaking crate down for you all. Is it supper time or something? What the hell? Where, where, oh God, where are you going? You're going to eat, aren't you? Oh, they went to get tools. Make their job a lot easier. I guess they said, shit, you know what? We don't down here without the tools. And now they should be able to work and place that stuff in there, right? Without any problems. Okay, so now we get to see it, the the magic at work. Man, we got so much to do. I don't know if we can build stone walls or not, like we used to. Like, see, there you go. He just deposited. All right, he needs to go a little bit out of his way. The other guy is right next to him. It's not the end of the world here. Maybe be smarter than saving even more time by putting a crate right next to this dude. There you go. Still threat level zero. Yeah, that way you know we get them to move at all. Ooh, I like that. I guess we could put one there in front of them. And then what he can do is just uh, have another guy over there too. I don't know. There's tons around here. All right. Well, they're working. Might not be the most prettiest of all caves dug down and a little bit of different textures and stuff but i think it's gonna work out pretty good 
Okay, so we're really good. The only thing we need to do is that uh, farming again and see if we can get some wheat going. Uh, I don't know if I should do it here or not. How big can we go for wheat? Pretty big. I mean, I guess I could put them really close together, but whatever. Two big plots of land. That means I need to have two more beds down. Oh my god, I'm gonna have no more room soon. Let's rotate this. Okay. There we go. And recruit for job. Okay, recruit. We need more food, without doubt. So, the only way of doing this is by getting this stuff going. I think. I don't know what they're going to make out of that, though. I think we need to upgrade this somehow. Unlocks a wheat farmer. It's just what? Wheat gruel. Crafting 40 seconds uh, needs 40. Okay, sorry, six weeks. It needs to be made. Tinker table. Oh, okay, cool. I got tinker table to make you gruel. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, is there supposed to be two people here? Um, we have one that just slacked off or what? Did I click the right thing? I guess I didn't click the right thing. All right, yeah, so this should give us some gruel and stuff, which add more meals to us. Uh, these guys will be responsible for that. Once it's available, I'm going to want that to be a priority in there, too. So let's start looking at priorities I've been putting here. Uh, tools are important, but as long as we keep the stable, there's 71%. I just want them to do like a, a, a average amount of everything, you know? At the gruel, I'm going to want that to be a priority. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, keep 25 of those. That is a good number for me. All right. Well, you know what? They're doing good. Everybody's doing good. I, I, I'm very proud of all of them. Anyways, lots of work to do. Close your eyes. I can walk right through you. Not scare you guys. I'm like your god. Try and keep you guys alive. Anyways, very, very cool game. Love it. And again, we still haven't built the wall. We still haven't built structures. There's still a lot to do. A lot of science to unlock. And I'm super excited to get a little more done. Hopefully, you guys want to join us. If you do, please take time. Hit the like button. If you're brand new, please want to subscribe. Thanks for being amazing. This is Game Edge. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.